Okay, uh, the session is going to be very diverse regarding the topics we're going to discuss. And we're going to start uh, with one of my favorites, which is network forensics. And I think most of us have probably struggled with network analysis, uh, scrolling through Wireshark, making sense of all the data and stuff like that. I have, so uh, this is why I'm pretty excited to announce our first speaker, Milan Schermack, who's going to take a step toward graph-based network traffic analysis and incident investigation. Oh, it is there. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so, uh, thank you. Uh, I would like to introduce my research where I, uh, first uh, I will compare some tools that we typically use for uh, network analysis. Then I will uh, show, 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 show how we uh, use uh, our uh, findings to uh, create some uh, new tool, and uh, lastly, I will um, briefly talk about the uh, possibilities of the using of the of graphs for for wall uh, incident uh, investigation process. Yeah, but first, uh, let's see why even. Uh, Considered uh, during the graph-based uh, approach, uh, in a general, the human brain is used to seeing the data as graphs. Yeah, so you you really used to link the the, the data and uh, your. Uh, Observations and observations. So, why don't we use it for the data analysis as well? We we have analyzed this when we talk with some law enforcement guys, and we. Uh, here, I realize that they are uh, already uh, using the graph based approach. Yeah, so, we just uh, uh, think about, 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 about uh, how to make uh, uh, our data uh, uh, available uh, for them. Yeah, but first, uh, we need to uh, somehow uh, understand uh, what are the requirements of network traffic analysis and what the uh, users uh, really uh, need. So, we uh, decide to uh, compare uh, three um, most uh, common tools. Uh, and we uh, did, 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 did I find some sign uh, and area that uh, tries to uh, emulate the common way how uh, the incidents are are investigated. Yeah, so first we know uh, how the power at on the um, machine, then uh, if uh, there was some uh, exploit or or uh, if it was uh, hashing or or something uh, like that, and also uh, we need to figure out if uh, there, there are some uh, comments and control uh, and centers, and if uh, there are some uh, other devices that are infected. Uh, so that are uh, some uh, c c common uh, questions we have when we uh, try to uh, investigate the attack. And we uh, select a uh, cyber uh, check, check uh, data set. It's a data set from a large uh, cyber security audit 
a exercise. It uh, contains panic um, and malicious uh, traffic, and uh, we, we have the capture for, for wall wall day, yeah, and we uh, collect some alert, and we try to use uh, the uh, tools to uh, get, get it. So first, um, probably uh, you know fire uh, shark, yeah, you know how it works. So it's it's uh, really a useful tool, and you want to uh, invest a network on a micro or oscopic level, but for a large traces, it's really hard to work with it. As when you type some filter, it takes several seconds to to show you some some results. And when you have when you have a lot of Questions yeah, and then it really slow down uh, your uh, your work. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's a really good to uh, answer the first two questions. But for the uh, rest, you need to have some global uh, overview of your your uh, data yeah so that's uh, I mean we 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 realize that that uh, Air shark have so uh, next uh, tool eight right it's a it's a archive it uh, it uh, transform packet captures and uh, it tags them and uh, Provide you some nice uh, interface where you uh, and search for some uh, specific uh, graphic uh, features. It's a uh, really rich and and uh, and uh, in uh, opposite to Airshark, it uh, provides you some more uh, global uh, overview of the of the the. the and data, and uh, also it's a only tool that have uh, also some graph uh, is only station, yeah, but uh, only in a in a uh, limited uh, uh, way. And, uh, uh, last tool, it's my uh, favorite one. Yeah, uh, if you uh, don't, 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 don't uh, know it, it's uh, really, really uh, hard to, to, to try. It's a uh, desktop uh, application that uh, transforms the pickup uh, you, 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 you using uh, Zeek, yeah, and then it uh, allows you to. Um, uh, and directly search and uh, alter uh, his log. Uh, and also, it's nice that, that uh, it is also able to uh, correlate his logs with, uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, alerts. And Harris from uh, but you can um, also say some power um, logs. The as I said, one advantage is that it has its own theory uh, uh, language, yeah, and so you really need to learn who uh, and uh, 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 language which, which is really really hard uh, sometimes yeah, but uh, uh, like the approach of uh, using Zeek yeah, so we, 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 
we use the uh, same uh, approach in uh, our uh, our tool. Yeah, but uh, first, uh, I would like to mention that, 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 that we want uh, to replace the, 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 the tools, yeah, but we want to pro 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 provide some new uh, no, 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 yes, yes, uh, options that these tools are missing. Um, yeah, so first, uh, uh, oh, no, 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 the most uh, challenging tasks uh, when you try to process the, uh, the data as a graph is that you need to somehow uh, transform your uh, primary data to a uh, graph form. Yeah, so first, uh, so we, uh, we uh, follow the deep Propose from uh, yes works, but we uh, amplified the timing, and we uh, also uh, added some some uh, new uh, edges to ease the analysis, and uh, what uh, I really like. Uh, on the schema is that it it follows the way how you think that network works. Yeah, so there's always some host yeah that makes a connection and and this connection you transform some 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 data. Yeah, so that's the uh, scheme. Yeah, and to uh, d d d demonstrate uh, our approach, we uh, d d d developed a kind of a toolkit. It's a combination of data transforming tools. And the main part of it is a graph database, a graph. Probably you know A of or J, but this database is limited and how much data are we able to process in it, yeah. So the, the, the graph is better and uh, allow us to um, to process uh, uh, even large large uh, captures. Yeah, so uh, uh, in case of the the data, and uh, no, 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 I say yes, you can use the the graph theory uh, language again. It's some uh, specific uh, language, so we we have uh, pro 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 provide some uh, user interface that uh, allows you to uh, search your data and take a paper or follow some uh, connections and. Uh, your uh, observations and uh, yeah. and uh, the nice thing uh, about it is that you uh, really see your raw data and your connections and also you can uh, see some uh, patterns yeah so or Example, Cairns uh, has uh, some nice star. Yeah, if only short connections. Or uh, when we try to detect some botnet, yeah, again, it's a uh, one host that took coming in only with some. Uh, 
other than the host and uh, and that have a socialization you can uh, simply uh, see it yeah, so uh, that was uh, network traffic yeah, but uh, our approach or uh, our uh, call is not to uh, analyze uh, only the network and the traffic the data but uh, also to process uh, any other data uh, we have. And so, so we really want to process or or query data from that and I chance yeah I also want to uh, con c c c c connect uh, our ops application yeah so uh, for example we know that that, that behind uh, these devices is uh, only one p p p p person yeah so we we c c c can travel to the graph yeah, to uh, ch 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 check the Person and the tendency is uh, yeah, 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 with, with uh, some groups yeah, and, and to uh, search for some next uh, next uh, traffic yeah, and uh, also and to uh, follow the the today's key. You know, yeah, yeah, we, uh, our uh, house uh, goal is to uh, get a uh, alert uh, and investigate the network yeah, and then uh, go to the process at connection yeah, and then uh, investigate the OSEPS tree if uh, there, there, there are some uh, other uh, processes. Yeah, so uh, to uh, conclude my uh, short talk, uh, I uh, would really like to stress out that, that uh, graphs and uh, graph-based uh, thinking is a nice and uh, new way how to process the data. And uh, now, um, I beam, uh, you know that that a uh, lot of tools now pro pro provides a graph So you can really query new data as a graph uh, and then uh, <laughs> to uh, your your uh, analysis yeah, so uh, that's uh, all for me uh, if you if you, if you are uh, and start up stamped in a, the on F, you can uh, I get a website and I'm uh, LA. Uh, um, yeah, and that's all. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much. Are there any questions, like from the audience here or on Zoom? Yes, there's one. Oh, I, I need to work up. <laughs> Thank you for the presentation. Um, how does it scale and how does it perform? Like if you have multiple uh, PCAPs, mm, how many hosts can you handle and so on? Yeah, uh, the, uh, how was the graph at the pace as quite new. Yeah, yeah. so they, they, they are still uh, 
I mean, <laughs> developing and, and improve. Um, but uh, and it has the David Hazen with a like graph. Uh, at, uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's a scalable database. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can store a lot of data if you have a uh, you know a source. Yes, and now the only part is to uh, index the data. Yeah, but now the team are uh, also working on some test team changes. Yeah, so it uh, getting uh, faster and and uh, faster now. Um, do you have the possibility in the graphical application to add some nodes manually and to add some edges when doing the investigation? Yeah, I uh, have a page I have shown you. I want to do with some holder with his labs. Yeah, but now uh, I think, think uh, within a month uh, we, we will release the new version uh, and that will, will pro 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 provide you a lot of filled writing options and so on. So, yeah. Another one? <laughs> okay, <laughs> perfect. Uh, I saw there's one question from my colleague in the chat, but I couldn't read it, so you're going to do it? Yeah, so this is a question from Martin Lamberts, who's asking about temporal data and its relationship to this model. He asks, he was wondering uh, what metadata um, is stored in the connections in the graph? Is it just simple data, like is it connected to or responded? Or can you also store things like the number of bytes or packets transferred? Could this be used to detect various connection patterns? Um, for example, something might be established, like a connection every n seconds. Yeah, uh, he followed the the high clocks. Yeah, so uh, if on the host node, that's only IP address. Yeah, but uh, in a connection, you know, no, no, we store all the data that Zeek provides, and. It's the same for, uh, let's say, uh, DNS uh, traffic. Yeah, so you can uh, search for a, a node with some uh, specific query, and then uh, again take deeper to some some highlighted connections. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much, Milan.